the roots of me doing this Bond movie start way before anybody approached me because I, like everyone else, have my own personal relationship with Bond, which began when I was, I suppose, about nine or ten years old. So, you know, I've always been a fan of the movies. I was genuinely blown away by Casino Royale, and I thought, A, Martin Campbell did a brilliant job, but also because of Daniel. I felt like he was a real man in a real situation again, and it reminded me of the way I felt when I watched the Sean Connery movies. So, for me, it was not actually that difficult a decision. It struck me that it is still possible to make a big, fabulous, glamorous, escapist movie, and yet, at the same time, to say something about the world that we're living in. So I thought that it would be a wonderful thing to do. And action. I think that the way any director deals with a huge film, if they're lucky enough to be able to do one, is, is in tiny incremental steps. You can only do one, a, one day at a time, and if you try and make the entire movie all at once, then your head will explode, particularly a movie on this scale. Ironically, I've never made an English movie. I've made six movies, and this is the first time I've shot in this country, which is an extraordinary thing. So I feel like the American years were my apprenticeship for doing the Bond movie. <laughs>